Hi guys and welcome to a very exciting unboxing uh, from the Boards and Swords Hobbies YouTube channel. As you can see, this is the highly anticipated Adeptus Titanicus this, uh, rule set. Uh, it doesn't just include the rules, you got uh, templates, tokens, dice and more. So, As we can see on the back, so it includes one hardback rule book. Uh, this is the only way to get the rule book as well um, for the the new game, uh, so you can't get it in softback or just on its own. It comes as this set. You can get it in the Grandmaster edition as well, but it is essentially the same set as this, but in a bigger box with the models and stuff. Um, you get six uh, Titan command terminals. There's two for each of the Warlord, Reaver, and Warhound one Adeptus Titanicus template set which most of you will probably already have them anyway in different colours no doubt this is a new swanky blue then we have two Questorus Knights command terminals even though you only get two command terminals it is actually I think it's anywhere between one and six knights are commanded via the one dial um, or terminal sorry so it's not like it is you only have enough di uh, terminals there for two nights that is up to six and in, in case you can hear that noise in the background that is just that the the UK summer is already over and it is in true English weather it is now hammering it down uh, ca carry on anyway so we got 20 Titanicus dice which is a real nice touch because as we all know the prices of Games Workshop dice that alone there that's probably like anywhere between 16 to 20 pounds worth of dice there alone it's some people would argue they they wouldn't buy them but it's just it, it's extra value because for 35 pound for this whole box is yeah crazy good value um one range ruler these are the the new type of rulers they're putting in so it's kind of like see-through um, almost like an acetate kind of plastic sort of thing. Uh, two reference sheets, always great to have. Um, I love games that put them in with the rules, otherwise I have to then search the interwebs and print them off myself. So we get 28 Titan, titan weapon cards. These add on to the, uh, the bottom of the terminals, so you can choose where. 24 mission stratagem cards and the battlefield assets these apparently they do kind of like affect the titans so apparently you've got like a plasma reactor or something so it, it helps to cool your plasma core and your warlord and stuff all right so let's take the shrink off i've already sliced it along the bottom to make it easier he says as he still struggles See if it comes off. Come on. And there we have it. Look at that. I'm a big fan of uh, hardback rule books myself. Makes it much easier. Again, so it's kind of an old school game, still using um, like d6s and templates and stuff however they've gone with their new age of sigma on 40k so you've got open play match play and narrative play that does that's probably going to be a thing we keep seeing with games workshop games um personally it's a, a good thing um, different ways of people playing and hopefully draws more people into this fabulous hobby beautiful picture it's just the opening pages it does remind me of the um the Forge World Black Books. But quite a nice swanky blue instead of red. A bit different. But um, we will probably go through this in more detail if people want to. Um, but for now, yeah, that's the rule book. Lovely bit of kit. I think people would probably buy that anyway for £30 on its own. So the fact you get it all for 35 is not bad. The rangefinder. Yeah, nice bendy, but it does look pretty. Nice artwork on it. Uh, 
one of the quick reference sheets a bit thinner than I would have hoped but that's the worst thing to take away from the the box that it had thin quick reference sheets and it's not that bad really is it that's a nice touch as well putting the the rule pages on the reference sheet so then you can easily get the quick idea and if you do need more information you can then quickly reference the page it says the divider to protect the paperwork pretty sure it would have been a bit more intelligent of them to put a reaver and the warlord on here just to get people frothing for what's coming next right and on to the um well line of sights and assets and markers so these little tokens here are the ones that go into your command terminals and it's just in typical games workshop style completely ott for what essentially most games would just use a wooden peg or a plastic peg or something they've gone for a nice thematic and i think then painted up in a nice brass color maybe even picking the skull out would look really good just give it that archaic look um i heard them saying as well that these these number tokens here one to five um oh, all the way up to ten but it's double sided so yep yeah. you'd need more than one to actually get to ten sorry one set um yeah sorry yeah these are for numbering your titans so if you say you had three titan uh, three warlords on the table you'd put one two three down on them so you know what's what however i can't see that being a pain because surely most people are going to name their titans and probably put a banner on said titan so you should be able to keep track of what titans what yeah even the the assets look nice i think actually they're objectives sorry they're the assets are there and you have different toppers that go on them like so like bunkers and you have different roofs essentially that looks like the plasma reactor that's a, a warlord's head nice little touch i suppose that that will be an objective nice thick chunky blast templates the thing is they didn't i don't like i suppose they could have left them out most people have got them but then people have moaned if they didn't get them included. These dice are lovely. So this is just more value to the box, like so they are fan dabby dozy. Definitely looks like they were probably gonna sell more of them separate, I reckon. Right, what do we wanna see next? Do we wanna see the command dials? tricks and stratagems or weapon cards you know we'll start with what probably most people have seen not good video is it if i'm not actually filming yeah we'll start with what most of you have already probably seen the command terminals Right, so this is the Questorus Knight terminal. So on here, it looks like obviously you've already got your weapons on. So it's basically you just kind of choose what's going on it. There's your space to put your order dice, you can see. So each one is that 120 points plus weapons and weapons. Is that each? That can't be each, surely. That must be for a minimum of three, so maybe it's three to six is what you get here. Oh yeah, because they have scale three. Maybe. I don't know. We will need to learn together. I do know these structure points, so each one's essentially got four. Once it gets the red, you remove a knight off the table, and then you start back at green to go again. But yeah. Next up, possibly one of my favourite titans is a Reaver. 
So there we go, 250 points plus weapons, command four, ballistic skill. These little holes are just, oh, it's gonna look so cool with all the stuff in. And as you can see, spaces for your weapons. So you've got left arm, right arm, and carapace. Um, it's just such a cool touch. And as you can see, the way it's embossed, it looks like it could hold the card, potentially. Nice little touch. Sorry, the keeps getting glare there, but... So that's the Reavers. Next up is the Warhound. Ah, there we go. So Warhound Titans can be formed into squadrons of two or three Titans. Something I hadn't known before seeing this myself. The big bad boy. The Warlord. Some beautiful, beautiful stuff here. So happy that it's finally out and I think it's definitely worth the price and worth the wait. So these are your weapon cards. Um, I do believe these are for all the Warlord, Reavers and Warhounds. Going through them quite quickly. Um, 55 points. Belisco Volcado Cadden. Uh, strength 12 and 7, 10. So there we go. So even so, to start with, we may only have volcano cannons. However, you can. There's a 25.1 and a 55.1. So straight away, like there's a little bit of difference. Ah, there we go. Got some lovely warhound stuff. So inferno. Have I just? I think I've missed the yeah, and the Vulcan Mega Ball. I think I must have missed the um, Warhounds in there. I will have a quick flick through the tactics and stratagem deck. So these are stratagems. Oh, mission objectives. Oh, it looks like they're all mixed up. Yeah. So, just nice, good quality dice, um, dice <laughs> cards. I like looking at that. Yeah, lots and lots of stuff in here. Um, again, like, not sure how many stratagems you'll be able to take. There's different cost points at the bottom, but yeah, it's just a... What do you expect from Games Workshop, really? It's all just top quality stuff. Um, the miniatures, as you'll see soon, are all beautiful. Yeah, so that's what's included. And it looks beautiful. It's released on the 18th of August. And yeah, look forward. Right. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.